Dear children, before we begin this class, let us start with a small prayer. Let us stand up and recite the prayer shown on the screen. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for having brought us together in this Carison class to study and pray and also to know and understand the divine revelations that God has prepared for us. We submit ourselves before the fellowship of the Most Holy Trinity. We pray along with the psalmist, It is you who light my lamp, the Lord my God, light up my darkness. O Jesus, who shines as the everlasting light in our lives, we pray to you to preserve us under your mighty protection in all our deeds of this year. Mother Mary, who strengthened your son during his times of suffering, intercede for us. about Moses who liberated the people of Israel under the Egyptian slavery what happened there even that was an evil against the Israelites somebody was imbibed with a poisonous thought that if the Israelites are growing if the Hebrews are growing then they are going to come against us and destroy us and that was thought by the king Pharaoh and just because of his thought, he just made all the Israelites work like slaves under him. And thereby they were under the Egyptian slavery for which Moses stood up and then he liberated them from the hands of Pharaoh. So was that not a social evil? So social evil is nothing but it is an evil that has got into someone and the person is giving it to the upcoming society thereby thereby a whole huge amount of people are getting affected can we ever go about with this can we just entertain the social evil that is happening against us or should we react against that yeah today that is what we are going to see let's see what are the social evils that are happening around us the first one is injustice. Well, what is justice? We know that Jesus is not only really merciful, but also a just God, just like God the Father. Yeah. So every person has got their right to deserve something, to own something. And that's the reason why even Jesus told whatever belongs to Caesar, belongs to Caesar and whatever is for God belongs to God. In the same manner, each and every human in the society has got his own rights to own something. And if anybody is stopping that particular person but from receiving what he is owning or he is supposed to earn, then that is called as injustice. And will that be affecting the society as a whole? Of course, will it not? 
if one person is doing that injustice towards one person, the people who are seeing him, they are going to follow the same manner and it is going to affect the whole lot of community which has to be stopped. So when we see injustice that is happening against someone, we are to react. And the second one that is happening is violence. What exactly is violence? It is just a disruption onto the public property. Is that what this violence is all about? Definitely not. In the name of violence, especially in the name of terrorism, we are destroying both the public property as well as private property, even the life of people. And who is going to take up the responsibility for taking away the life of the humans that was given by God as a gift to him, to his family? Is that okay? Can we entertain that? So being Christians, we are to take steps. We have to know what are the social evils that is prevailing among us and we are to react. So we are not supposed to let people do whatever they feel like. When you, when you are called by someone, come, let's destroy the society or come, just, we'll just go for a hartal or something. You should say, no, I belong to Jesus. This is not my cup of tea. Yeah? We are not here to destroy things, but to build, to construct, to show people what love is. The next topic is discrimination. What is discrimination? It is not just about color. It is also about caste, religion, race, and also based on sex. We have already talked about that in the last class. So these are the discrimination that is happening in the society as a whole. But when we take it in a separate manner, it may not be huge, but put together, yes, it is called as discrimination. What happened to Mr. George Floyd in the US? Was it not a discrimination based on race? Just because he was a black, he was killed by the white policeman? Well, all these things are social evil and that came up and do you remember how the people reacted to the discrimination that took place in the US? And that is how a Christian has to stand for the value of the society. And the next topic is violence against women. What is the violence against women that's happening? Is it just like discrimination people putting women down? Is that what? Definitely not. Well, women are considered uh, like um, a commodity what people can use so even to get married to a girl for a, ma a girl to get married to someone she have to pay dowry even that is a social evil well now that is a lot it is getting uh, diminished but still it is existing where people are tortured sorry women are tortured for not giving enough bribe for the groom which cannot be entertained and also they are put into sexual assault and it is also happening in the workplaces even by the in-laws these things are happening which has to be taken into consideration and that has to come out but unfortunately the violence that is happening against women they do not pop out just because there is no good terms between the spouse and so they do not respect each other. They will treat them ill. And at last, it will not come out because in a society, yes, female are always lower to male. The violence against women, we should also support Father Vatayal, who was talking about this violence that was happening against women in the event called MISPA that took place, uh, sorry, that was telecasted in Shalom. So even that should be considered. And the next topic is alcoholism. How is alcoholism affecting? Is it just a particular person or a group or the society? It's because of alcoholism, not only a person himself is getting affected physically, but also the people who are associated with him, that is his family. Because, because of alcoholism, there is a drastic amount of loss in or loss of income in that particular house and also the children who are raised 
in such houses oh my god just think about that what is their situation they are in a situation where they are not able to face their friends because the friends are going to make fun of him calling oh you are the son of a drunkard we don't want to be friends with you that is going to put him down leading him to mental depression not only him also his family members and people will not respect the entire people who belong to that particular family though they are not drunkards except the father so is this not an evil and thereby the upcoming generation of all these depressed people when they come up even the children of theirs the upcoming generations are also going to get affected which is definitely a social evil that has to be stopped even governments uh, share to put their hands together to stop this social evil thereby stopping the virus which is not happening in our country and use of drugs well drugs is equal to young people where people are targeting only the young people like the school going students and also the college going students who are addicted to drug once they get addicted they will not be in a situation to come out because of the chemical influence that's there in the drug and they are even ready to make a huge mess in their family to get this drug i even remember one of my friend who was an addict to drug and then because they are like his parents were trying to pull him out of his addiction he then committed suicide he was even ready to lose his life for this particular drug which uh, was really heartbreaking for us a classmate of mine well yeah getting back to the point yes next is consumerism consumerism is nothing but to consume something but can we consume everything what whatever we feel like well, that is what is happening in this particular generation just because people are ready to give us loans from the banks we are ready to take and buy anything and everything whether it is a need or a want i just want to buy it just to keep up my uh, social equality or to up upfront myself with the other people in the society well that also has to be stopped this is going to ruin the entire family where because of all these loans and debts the people or the children whom they are raising they are not able to actually uh, be, uh, like bear the fruits of good parenting they are not getting a good childhood because of all this consumerism they just lose their parents who are running behind all these stuffs and they have to pay back whatever debts they have taken from the banks which has to be stopped even that is the social evil the next topic is misuse of mass media how are we misusing the mass media well mass media was found for us to utilize it so that it is going to be a uh, good wealth for the people to bring in things that are happening around us but now what are we doing well if somebody has met with an accident we just picture it and we will share it instead of helping the person is this what mass media was found for is that not a social evil and spreading fake news that are actually not true is also happening with the help of mass media which has to be stopped so that is also a social evil moving to child labor well, child labor is also existing in our nation. Child labor is nothing but children who are under the age of 14 are put under work and they are paid less. Just because they are children, they will listen to their owners and they will work accordingly. But then this is going to affect both their mental and physical growth. So even that is a social evil that is existing in our country, which has to be stopped. What are our responses against social evil as a Christian? Well, coming to as a Christian, just because Christ was merciful and he didn't react to people, so does that mean even Christians are not supposed to react to what is happening against in the society? Well, do people remember what Jesus did in the temple of Jerusalem when people were making the temple as a marketplace? He went 
and then he clear the place off yes exactly it that should be the mentality of every christian if we see that something is happening in our house that is evil for us will we stay quiet and that should be our reaction towards a society too the society was given by god for us to take care by us you remember the garden of eden what god gave adam and eve to take care in the same manner should be our mentality to the to the society who is our family it is not just our family it is the whole of the society is also our family so we should take care of it in a responsible manner there are three ways how we can bring their social evil to control they are ideological level organizational level and cultural level we're going to ideological level where we have to give the idea to the people what is social evil and how can this be stopped by giving people seminars classes and um, continuous awareness programs this is called as ideological level the second one is organizational level organizational level is nothing but people of the same mentality they can come together as an organization and they can work for the one and the same cause to keep the evil away from the society by forming an organization that is called as organizational level and third one is cultural level that is people of different culture different religion they can come together as an organization again and they can work towards the same cause so using these three medium we can reach all the levels of people and keep these evil away from the society so let's discuss the question answers now as devoted christians it is not enough to avoid evil but we must do everything to fight against evil tendencies yes just because we are christians we are not doing any evil to the society but it doesn't mean that i have to go and stand against all this evil that mentality is not going to help us and people of that mentality are the ones who are going to purgatory so it is our responsibility not just to stay away from evil but also to react against that under all the nine circumstances whatever was told whatever we see we are to react we have to stop it and we are also to stay away from what is happening and the second one is what all measures could be taken to eradicate social evils from our society i taught you people the three ways that can be put in there are three levels which can be put in to keep the evil away from the society that is of organizational level cultural level and ideological level these three levels can be used to keep the evil from the society so that's all for today hope you people will react to what is happening in the society and keep social evil away from us thank you let us in the class by thanking god for giving us this wonderful opportunity let us stand and recite the prayer shown on the screen o oh, merciful lord we thank you for having sent forth upon us your wisdom from the holy heavens from the throne of your glory thank you for having chosen us to be the shining lamps of the world by illuminating darkness and spreading light oh jesus you said it is not the will of my heavenly father that one of these little ones should be lost we thankfully join our hands before you for holding all of us to your bosom following the example of mother mary who readily accepted to be the handmaid of the lord we too pray that we may be strengthened to do god's will in every walk of our life amen